Good morning, Internet. Well, we made it last night, and this is our first official setup tent thing that I did last night in the howling winds, and I'm very proud of it. We didn't blow away last night, we made it. If there are any entomologists watching this, we have found a literal gold mine. If you've ever been to the Monshire Museum of Science in Vermont, you know what I am talking about. This is an ant farm to the extreme. And if anybody knows what these weird, like, gooey pod things, things are, pod things? I don't know. I'm going to poke it with a stick. With all um, the ants around them? I don't know. Maybe they'll attack us. I don't... Yeah, it's, I can't, it, it's, it feels like a rock. Do you want to touch it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't... I don't know what it is. I feel like I'm about to be carried away by ants. This is... Like, yeah, this like is I'm going to get as close as I possibly can. See if it'll focus. Yeah, see that? That's, that's insane. That's only a part of it. Wonder if I can see their queen. Oh, look. There's a little brigade coming after me. Mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> they're coming. Ah! <laughs> so I think we found out what this weird gelatinous goo stuff is over here. Because all of this is on a foundation of some sap's poorhouse or something. Look at this. That burned, burned down. There are burnt doorknobs everywhere. It's pretty sad. Yeah. All that's but left is door hangers and doorknobs. Here's the back wall, and I think this right here must have been the front door because there are steps right here. Huh. Don't play with matches, kids. God, it didn't work at all. Turtle Beach! We're going to Skankville, USA! Douche Town! So, I feel like we should tell our uh, viewers what, what we decided the, the, the law of nature in places such as these right, really right. is. Um, it does not abide by normal situations. Well, I suppose, but I feel it's more concentrated in areas like oh, Turtle Beach. Oh, yeah, and like maybe like Jersey City. Um, you know, like the whole Bay Area, yeah. maybe. Essentially, for every part skank, you have an equal part douche. Law of nature. It's like a swirling vortex. Of herpes. That just never ending. And that's where we're going to have some Longhorn, because we have a gift card. Burn beach! <laughs> We're hungry, and we're in traffic in Myrtle Beach. It's so, so close. It's like right there. Aww, those bumper stickers remind me of Naomi's car. They do. Mm -hmm. This one goes out to you, Naomi. I'm gonna eat a steak and think of you. Oh, look, geese! Canadian geese, go home! You silly They're geese. They're not in Canada anymore. You silly geese. It's not Canada season. It's too warm for you. Those are like the retirement geese that got too tired. Yeah, they're just like... Hey! Oh. <laughs> I did it three times. I'm not proud of this. We're not going to show you where it's from. But we found the heftiest <laughs> steak knife in the south. Found. Found. <laughs> It was lost. It was and lost. We found it. We gave it a home. This is its home now. It will be well cared for. And this is what it's like to live on the road. <laughs> this is what it's done to us. <laughs> anyway, we've eaten. We're very satisfied. Yes, thank you, Laura little... Shook, for buying us dinner tonight. Yes, thank you, Laura. Yes, thank you very much. It was delicious. I had the best steak I've had in forever. Yeah, well. Yeah, we have literally just haven't eaten meat this whole time, so that was like... I forgot what it tasted like. Yeah. Hello. What's going on? Sorry for the shakiness, but we're hiking. We are. Uh, we are in the middle of South Carolina in the forest, and we're trying to find a... Suitable camping spot. Sequestered area to camp. Where you don't have to pay 20 bucks a night. 
Yeah, because that's, I mean, I, I definitely support our national forests and I understand the need, but also camping should be free. Yeah, camping should be free. Um, at least the type of camping we want to do. Especially because <laughs> we're bringing all of our own stuff and we are like requesting nothing but like somewhere to sleep on Just the to ground. put the tent on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we were driving around a bunch of these off dirt beaten roads in the middle of bump <laughs> nowhere. And we, we found one mm -hmm. that looked interesting. And it was this beautiful grassy path and we hopped over the fence and getting ready. And as soon as I put my foot down, I heard this unmistakable crunch of bone underfoot. And I don't know if you've ever stepped on bone, but it makes a very, very distinct rattle. Yeah. And it's horrifying. And I looked down and there was like three parts of a giant spine all that like, curved out and stuff and there were bugs eating it and I could hear them eating it and it sounded like death and you know what, that's just a bad omen and I'm not cool with the bad juju. So we headed in the opposite direction and hopefully hopefully we'll find mm -hmm. something better. But in this direction, there's a bunch of mysterious drum noises. So we're gonna figure out what that is. Blair Witch Project Part Two. So we seem to have found our campsite. It is this beautiful grassy field in the middle of the forest that we stumbled upon. You can tell because the grass is very, very, very tall. PSA, check yourself for ticks every time you go outside. We just found about five in this tent. Check yourself for ticks. Not many people know this about me, but I absolutely love spiders. However, this spider is presently being squished by the fly of our tent. This is the meadow that we found to sleep in last night. In case you didn't know what a sun-dappled meadow looks like, this is what a sun-dappled meadow looks like. On one side of the forest, all you see is burnt destruction. And then there's an even divided line. We were driving along through a national forest in South Carolina and we happened to be looking out the window at the right time and this is unbelievable. We found the remains of a forest fire and it just... Mother Nature is beautiful. <laughs> 